Hi all, in this tutorial I am showing how to create a socket family in Revit. So this is the image like uh, we can see the back boxes over there and uh, some sockets areas or switches and uh, plug and everything is there. So how we can create in a Revit I will show you. Go to Revit and in the family area just create a new family and select uh, one generic metric generic model face based. Select that one, open it. So you will be get a draw area like this. So then what we need to do, we need to set some family types. So just go to here, uh, this family category and parameter. So this is now in the generic model. So we need to change that one to electrical fixes. So you can see here is in the generic model. Then go to here, electrical fixes, select that one, click OK. So that was now in a electrical fixer category. Then you need to save that one. So I am saving that one single socket. And before I save it once, okay, same thing. I am just saving. And go to the options and just uh, select one. Click OK. Save it. And yes, so that file I replace. It. So then what we need to do, we need to set uh, some parameters over there. For this is the front width and this is height for the switch, uh, socket area. And this is the back boxes for the socket area height and width. And this is the depth for that. So these things we need to create it. This is the, for example, this is the width and uh, this is the height of the socket. And this one is the height of the back, back box and this is the a width of the back box and this one is the depth of the socket and this one is the depth of, depth of the um, our <coughs> back box so that we need to create it so for that creation then we need to just take a reference plane first go to create you can get a reference plane over here select that one otherwise you can type rp for reference line then you can see here the pick lines over there. So just select the pick line means we need to pick these two lines, coast lines. So just select that one and just give an offset like a 45. So I'm just selecting this one and I'm giving the both side and this line I'm selecting and the above part also required. So now over the structure is ready like uh, this part is ready. So again, we need to do for the back boxes. So this structure is ready and this one is need to do it. No, not at ready like when the base skeleton is ready. So then again, we need to give some other um, offset like uh, inside the back. This is creating for the back, back box. So just give a like a 39. So from this line, I'm just picking the 30 line from, oh sorry, from here you need to take it so inside the part also there so this is the area for the back box and this is the area for our uh, socket area so then we need to give some dimensions though so just select this one and first we need to give this one first we need to select this and center line and select like this so you can click over here and give equal so now the dimension is very big so you need to change the scale from here to so you can easily visible that one and just need to give a total length of that one. So this one we need to set the socket width. So just I'm saying like a socket width. Just say like this, click OK. And another one I need to create for the back box width. Select like this. Just give equal and just to select at this dimensions. And select this one and I give a parameter name like a socket. Oh, sorry, back box, back box width. So just give it like that and just give a uh, uh, this uh, parameter over there. So same thing we need to develop for the height. Then you just need to give a parameter over there. Just uh, select it from here and select like this and this selected uh, like this equal and just give the dimensions and inside also you need to give the dimensions like this and equal and just to need to give like this and then the one we need to select it for the socket select it and just say like a socket height just select and write it like that and it was set up and this one we need to select it like a so back box height so just say like a, this one is a back box height right so once you set up that one, click OK. So then we need to develop this square areas like that. Okay. For that, we just need to go to create 
and we just take extrusion from that we just need uh, like uh, from the wall this much dis distance is required so what we need to do we just need to give a 10 from the wall and uh, just uh, give a square, rectangle and give a radius as a 5 then just need to dra uh, draw like this so that was created just to select that one rectangle and give a radius 5 and select like this so that was created just to locate these things don't forget to locate just to do that one and finish it so if you look the 3d so you can see it was created very similar so the back, the front side of the socket is created you can say in the like uh, all the visibility like a view <coughs> changes from here the graphics so you can see how, how it's how it's visible so once you created that one next step is like uh, uh, just need to give a inside back box area go to create just need to uh, extrusion then we need to give like uh, from the wall it was going inside so we need to give some minus 20 so back box uh, maybe with this depth is different so just give a minus 20 just give a rectangle and give a radius 5 select the inside one and log the things like this very simple click ok then go to the 3d view if you can see here we, it will not visible over here change this one to wireframe so you can see that uh, that was created over here the back box is also created as per the standard you can give the dimensions no issue so <clears throat> i'm keeping the hidden line then go here go to the right side elevation then you can see here it is already created something we can, we can see this this one is a socket area this one is the our back box area so just create a, a reference plane again otherwise you can um, create a reference plane just select the pick and just give it 10 from here and select this one give that one and just give a minus 20 so just uh, selected this one uh, sorry my just give it 20 and you can select this one so you, that was created over here so this was from the world 20 and this is 10 so just give a dimensions for that just give it and scale you need to change to 2 and just create it like this and just to give this one like uh, you can give the parameter for this one just to create it this is the depth of of depth for depth of socket socket and just copying that one okay click ok select this one and just need to give a depth of back box back box so that was set over there so just click ok then what we need to do we just need to go here in the reference level so we need to create uh, some other things like these points this one this one and this switches so how it will work i will show you just to go to create and go to the void forms void extraction um, void uh, then uh, extrusion then just uh, select from here just give the give this one um, so i'm just giving this one like 10 and just uh, select the rectangle and i'm just giving the with with the dimensions you can give how much distance you need so you can give it that one and i am just copying this one copy to here and uh, copy to and i am just copying another one copy it and i am just placing over here and i just need to rotate this one like a 90 degree so then uh, we just need to pick it as in the center so just to select this one and one line you can mention and just to give the this one like a uh, here the sender just to move it a little bit so as per the dimension you can create it that one just delete that one just uh, click finish it this one just go to the 3d view you can see already that was created if you go to the shaded so you can see that uh, that area is created so same way you can uh, do the four other things and uh, and just need to see you can clearly you can see all the things if you want to change the realistic so you can change this in wireframe so you can see that all the views how its work then go to the right then reference plan then we need to create our switch like uh, this area okay one or of that one you need to create over here 
for that we need to just go to the right side and before that we need to set one reference plane name so i am just giving the reference plane name like a socket top socket top okay then just apply it then come here and uh, we need to create some extrusions over there so just to click extrusion then go to the set and we need to set the socket top just click ok then we need to give some uh, depth for that uh, for for example I am just giving 4 and the red uh, rect rectangle and uh, radius I am just giving 2.5 just uh, selected from this and I am just making the area like this so that was created you can lock that things and just to click uh, finish and go to the 3d you can see it was created over here okay perfect so just go to the sh sh shaded view you can see, simply see the things like that if you want to hide this one just to uh, uh, hide it the things ehh -E for temporary hide see you can see the switch and the plug is co uh, connected over here so cut areas and everything is uh, created then we need to do some other thing also just go here just uh, reset the things come here and to uh, we need to create uh, another extrusion uh, that also in the you can set that uh, that thing and just uh, <coughs> we need to take uh, otherwise we can go to the go to finish it this one close this one no change yes okay go to the right side then we need to create a switch from here so create it extrusion then just need to create the things like this just do like this and finish that one go to 3d view you can see it was created over here just we need to move this one to our area like this just select like this and just to go to here and what we need to do we need to we do something from over here so just to select that one and change to void if you can change this one to wireframe you can see easily then we go here once you set up that one go here and cut the geometry select this one and select this enter it so just uh, that was created over here simply that will create it so you can see it was created the switch is created like this so then what you need to do just need to apply for some materials once you created this one okay so just uh, i'm just going to wireframe and uh, just a uh, hidden line so you can see all the uh, switch sockets it's created so we need to apply some materials over there for that you just need to go to manage material and you can take the material from here and i'm just duplicating that one create new i'm just uh, saying like uh, some pvc materials just uh, like a pvc and uh, appearance uh, go to here and duplicate it and just uh, load the appearance appearance like a pvc just uh, search it from here the pvc just load that one that will come up over there just close it and apply okay so what we can do we just need to give this one and i'm just hiding this thing uh, just a hh for hiding so selecting this two and uh, this uh, this all i am selecting and just to giving uh, sorry this this two i am select selecting and i am giving the uh, a, a material like pvc so and i am selecting this uh, this one also i am just need to give the material like uh, uh, sorry the material i need to give also also for this uh, just go here and just to giving pvc for that and even even the switches and everything i need to give so okay that is okay fine so if you just uh, need to shade it and realistic go to realistic so you can see the material applied over there and what we need to do we need to give some paint also so for that you just go to manage again material and just to duplicate this one create a material and i am just giving the name like a paint paint okay then appearance and duplicate it that one and just to go here um, sorry and just need to give some paints over here just give a red, red and click OK and just select this one and just uh, you can give the paint for that one and select that one and uh, you can see the paints are come over here uh, just uh, sorry just to uh, uh, hide this one just go here and temporary hide and go to the here and paint 
so you can see the paint was uh, created duplicated over here or not okay so it was not created manage material and just to go to uh, duplicate this one with a paint already created go to appearance and just duplicate this one and just give a color like uh, this one click ok uh, just to go here paint uh, we can get some paints from whichever paint you need so you can give that one uh, which paint you need just to apply for that and uh, just apply for that and just uh, give 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 there which color you need just click it okay and click okay and you can give the uh, paints so uh, from uh, which each area you need you just need to give the paint so you just need to give that one here so you can see it was created here so this is the simple method to create this uh, family and uh, placing this uh, sockets over there in the in our weight family and you just need to add some other things and just i am just hh for hiding this one and i need to give some connector for this so for that what i will do i will just go to the create and just to give a electrical connector and just give one here so that was created and just to go to here and just to click over to reset that this one so our power factors and everything is created over here and you can give the voltage and everything over here so go to here it now it was uh, created a family and if you open one new new rivet so just uh, i'm for example i'm opening one projects so i need to load this family over there it is working or not i need to see so i'm just going the power uh, so here is the socket family so i'm just load into the project so i'm just loading to the project and i'm placing this one over here and even just i'm looking for the 3d so it was created so you can see that was perfectly placed over in the wall so back boxes are there and voltages and everything you can give the uh, another details so it is a simple exercise those who are working in electrical field so if you like my video please subscribe my channel it's totally related to AutoCAD and Rivet. So it's a simple exercise so for how to create a family and everything. So just uh, watch my YouTube channel. If you like, uh, just uh, give like uh, comments and subscribe my channel. Support me to grow. Thanks for watching. Thank you. It's a good exercise. Very nice. If you have, if you got some idea, please comment on my YouTube channel. Thanks. Thanks for watching.